holy guacamole, we have a new finale trailer for Vanderpump Rules where we see the explosive Scandaval showdown only to find out that there is a leaked version that prompted Bravo to release an alternate version and now there's an internal investigation. I hope you're ready to break it down because it's it's a lot. Oh, hi, it's me, Zach Peter, pop culture junkie, reality TV insider, published author, and host of the No Filter with Zach Peter podcast. Here I'll bring you all the latest news on The Real Housewives, deep dives into celebrity legal scandals, and unfiltered combos with your favorite stars. I've got you covered. And yes, I always keep receipts. So be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for all the latest tea. Now, let's dive in. I hope you have some wine ready, maybe even a pumptini. Because, wow. So we have two versions of the trailer that have come out for the Vanderpump Rules season finale. So what I'm hearing is that Somebody leaked a version of the trailer, probably from one of the um, the final episodes. So they have like final cuts of the episodes that go out sometimes to press, sometimes to talent. Um, and so there is a, I guess it looked like from what I saw, a cut of the of next week's episode, which is because uh, we have this week's episode, which is where Ken talks about, oh, I saw Raquel and or I didn't see Raquel, but I heard Raquel was in slept over Sandoval's house and Sandoval's like, I didn't do it. And then he was like, yes, I did. But the optics were kind of bad. So I didn't say anything. So it looks like somebody got an advanced copy of next week's episode, which was the original finale for Vanderpump Rules or what was supposed to be the original finale until the Scandaval thing broke and then they added on one more additional episode, right? So for next week, though, they have a preview at the end of that episode that gets into all of the Scandaval stuff that kind of shows what's to come, right? So, you know, at the end of every episode, there's previews of like still to come on Vanderpump Rules or next time on Vanderpump Rules. So it's one of those clips. So somebody, and you can tell that this was an advanced like uh, rough cut because at the top of the actual trailer that leaked, it looks like there was um, like those numbers, those timestamp numbers. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Hey down buddy okay oh yes sorry guys my mom decided it would be fun to uh volunteer me to foster a kitten that we're trying to find a home for so if anybody wants a kitten please let me know um she is darling she is adorable but um it was not anything i was expecting so today's been a day so we pulled out the big glass of wine anyway back to the tea um so Vanderpump Rules, at the end, we have the, the pre preview for next week, yada, yada, yada. So let's, um, and so it looks like somebody, it looks like somebody recorded it and then like recorded it on their iPhone and then posted it to an Instagram account. But the Instagram account was a new Instagram account. I believe like this was their very first post on that Instagram account. I think it was like not today neck or something like that. And so it, ended up getting taken down for copyright infringement. And since the uh, trailer ended up leaking, Bravo ended up releasing an alternate trailer, making Kristen Doty the center focus of the, the new trailer that they released on their own. And now they're having the cast release that version. And they're having all the other ones um, removed for copyright infringement, which is a bit of a, you know, they're, they're going hard. So let's review the original trailer or the new, the, not the original, the Bravo trailer. And then we'll review the lead trailer trailer because they are different. And there are scenes that are cut that we don't get. Okay. So maybe it's Raquel's hacker. That's funny. I was thinking maybe it was somebody internal. Okay. So we have season finale. Ben Popo. Liar! Yeah, me and became like really good friends. I don't give a oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yes, it is. It is. You know oh my goodness. Nope. That's right. You tell him. You don't deserve any of this. 
watching so for a few run. You ready? So it, I mean, it's juicy, right? So we open it up. Sandoval's like, I was always going to leave Raquel. And then Sheena's like, well, you didn't leave Raquel. You ended up screwing her best friend instead. Snap, snap. And then we see him talking to Schwartz. And Schwartz is like, my life has been upended because of this. Nobody's going to Schwartz and Sandy's, but everybody's going to Schwartz and Sandy's, but nobody's going to Schwartz and Sandy's, but everybody's going to Schwartz and Sandy's and nobody's talking to me anymore. And it's like, well, yeah, because you've covered up a seven month affair that you've known for a minute. So yeah, Schwartz, it's a little hard to actually feel bad for you. Okay. I love me some Schwartzy and I liked me some Sandoval. Yes. I know the kitty is precious. So if anybody wants to find a home for the kitty, please let me know. The kitty is precious. <laughs> um, she's been bopping around all over the apartment today. Um, Zach, that jacket you're wearing is everything. Oh, thank you. This is my, my jack, my East coast jacket that I was, I wore in Philly and New York and New Jersey. Um, but so this trailer looks good, right? And so we get like little bits. We get like a little snippet of Tom and Raquel. We see Ariana and Tom go back and forth where she's like, I don't care about you effing Raquel. Your friendship is BS. And then he's like, no, it's not. You know everything. And so th that's a juicy bit, right? And then they ended with Kristen Doty. And Kristen Doty comes up. And first of all, listen, I love me some Kristen Doty. But like, this is your return to Vanderpump World's sister. Like, that's what we're going to wear. We're going to wear Adidas slides and like, you know, like, uh, come on. Like, if this is your moment, Kristen, then step into your moment. She just looked like a ragamuffin, as Kyle Richards would describe it. And I was very disappointed. So I'm like, Kristen Doty, like, listen, I'm not saying come full glam because I get it, the optics, whatever. But like, give us a little something, right? At least put on like a cute sneaker, right? Give me a Yeezy or something. But like the, the Adidas slides and the yoga pants. And she was even just, she was just looking kind of rough. And I was just like, oh, Kristen. But listen, she's Kristen. And Kristen will always give us Kristen. And I'm surprised that they like made such a big deal about this like Kristen return though. Cause I'm like, I was thinking about it. I'm like, Kristen's probably only in this finale for like maybe two minutes, especially because we have to see the Tom and Ariana confrontation. We have to see that confirmation, that, that uh, conversation happen. We have to see the Tom and Sheena conversation happen. We have to see the conversation where Sheena's in the white sweater and the white bucket hat. Um, that has to play out. We have to see uh, Lisa Vanderpump and Ariana play out. So I'm like, what are we, how are we, like, I'm confused as to how much Kristen Doty we're actually going to get. I feel like we're probably going to get at best two minutes, and that's generous, right? I think, you know, from all the clips that we saw in this trailer, for all of that to be crammed into one 60-minute episode, Unless they make it a 90-minute episode. I don't really know. Um, Lisa said, don't shame her. Maybe she was in a rush to get there for the next 15 minutes. Listen, in, a lot can happen in 15 minutes, okay? You can do a lot in 15 minutes. You can do a little brow. You can, you know, brush your hair out a little bit. You can put on a cute little outfit. Something. Anything, okay? I hope it's a supersized episode, Russ. Hopefully it's 90 minutes, but even if it is 90 minutes, I feel like we're still not going to get very much Kristen in that finale. Let crazy Kristen go goodbye where she belongs. She belongs on our screen. That's where she belongs. She belongs on our screens and in our hearts as the hot mess, chaotic, crazy friend that she is, okay? They better give us 90 minutes. They better give us 90 minutes. Like, there's no way. People, will, we will watch a 90-minute Vanderpump Rules, right? Okay, so that's the the Bravo version, because Bravo was like, we're going to have control over this. But the leaked version, so it looked like it was posted by this account, and the account is called Not Today Neck. And I hate, I, first of all, I will say that I hate when people leak stuff like this, because then it makes it less likely for us to get stuff like this behind the scenes, like us podcasters and stuff because clearly somebody got access to the finale and then they decided to record it and create a brand new uh instagram account dedicated to bravo and they're trying to get their little 15 minutes on instagram and it sucks because then it screws it up for everybody else like for all the people that got this episode and that didn't leak anything because we wanted it to be real and organic for the fans they are then going to be affected. People like me are going to be affected because Bravo is going to be less likely to give out these screeners to prevent spoilers from happening in the future. So stop killing us. Stop biting the hand that feeds you. 
you get an advanced copy, then your job is to pump up the episode, not to leak anything because you want to have a cute little Bravo account. It's really not going to do anything for you. So, okay. So this is the, um, this is the new trailer, the, or the leaked trailer that never came out that was supposed to be part of, I believe it's next week's episode. I, that's unconfirmed, but I believe it was for next week's episode. Okay. Same Tom breakup clip. Schwartz making it about himself. Oh. Oh. That's a new thing. Oh my god. Okay, so this one ends with the for you to die moment, right? But it has a dinner with Lala where she's wearing her Send It to Randall merch. Um, so there's a dinner or like a drinks evening setting with Lala. And we also have Charlie that's there. And they're like, we're having a funeral for Tom Sandoval because he's dead to us now. And then we also get more of the Tom and Ariana, like be- like Tom and Ariana going back and forth. That is probably the most compelling piece of the trailer. But she looks so bad in the trailer personality wise. Who did? Um and but the part the parts that we get that are super juicy from this uh, leaked trailer is one. There's a conversation that James has with Raquel where he's on the phone with her and he's like, "So are you and Sandoval in a full blown relationship now?" And she's like, "No, we're not in a full blown relationship now." And then there's the scene with her and Tom Sandoval where they kiss. And they're talking about how she's like, oh, my God, we said that we wouldn't do this if it wasn't truly worth it. Like a whole like she thinks that she's doing like hashtag love wins right now. Like, who does she think she is? Romeo and Juliet. We know how that ended. Okay, sister. I was watching that scene and and just seeing her kind of smirk about all of it in that moment and her show no remorse. And I'm just like. Somebody call Sheena. Get Sheena on the phone and get Daryl ready to take her back to court. Okay? Because that's what we need. We need Sheena to come and get it. I'm not insinuating anything. I'm not trying to incite violence at all by any means. I'm just saying, call Sheena and let her know what's up. We don't need to tell Sheena to do anything. We just need to say, hey, Sheena, this is the deal. What's up, girl? And then Sheena would be like, all right, I'll meet her in New York on the streets. Period. Or what? Or what? So. Oof. Just wild, 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 wild. So we get the the cut of the James scene. We get the cut. uh, We see the uh, for you to die moment. And then we have the um, the Raquel telling Sandoval that like we like this was all worth it sort of situation, which is just insane to me that she would even bother with that. Um. Tell her, catch me outside. Catch me outside. Catch me outside. Catch me outside. How is Sky liking the kitty? Sorry, I'm behind high maintenance chick. Um, Sky and the kitty seem to be getting along very well. They were playing a lot earlier. Um, so that's a good thing. They both knew what they were doing and how it was going to play out. I think at the end of the day, they both love the attention that they got from this. Oh, that's right. They absolutely love the attention that they got from this. And it's just, it's unfortunate and it's wild. And it's just, it's cuckoo crazy. Cuckoo crazy. Oh my goodness. Um, definitely cuckoo crazy. Will you ever come to New York? Listen. We had a great show in Philly that New York may be next. LOL, you're a whole vibe. We got to catch the finale live. I cannot wait for the finale. I am ready for it. Everyone's ready for Tom Sandoval to die. And then Lala and Charlie will host the, 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 what do you call it? The funeral. Show us the kitty. You just saw the kitty. She doesn't even have a name yet. She's the kitty. She's just the kitty right now. I will say this, if anybody wants a kitty, there's a sweet little baby kitten that is available for you to bring into your home. Will you be hosting Reality Checked soon? 
what is reality check? Isn't that Carlos King's podcast? Why would I be hosting his podcast? It's his podcast. I don't care about these last two episodes. I just want the finale ASAP. Yeah, so we have this week's episode and we have next week's episode and then we have the big Scandaball finale. But it was interesting because Lala can't even post it. She's like, I don't know when this is coming out. We got a long way to go, but here we go, guys. And then Bravo's like, we'll help you out. It airs May 17th. So May 17th is when we get the Scandaball finale. But so I'm imagining next week is going to be the episode about... um, something about her because that was supposed to be the original finale is this something about her dinner um where ariana and katie like have everybody come in and test the sandwiches and i've also heard three finales right a three-part thing no it's not gonna be a three-part finale maybe a three-part reunion but not a three-part finale um but it was also so we're, we're gonna get something about her and shoot i completely lost my train of thought somebody said something about um what which clip was leaked and to what website so it was this account this instagram account um not today neck who i'm pretty sure just did that so everyone can go and follow them um but so they're the ones that released a like iphone recording of a trailer that they got early advanced access to and released it before they were supposed to because usually when we get these screeners they're under embargo Excuse me. So we're not allowed to actually like give full details. We can tease things and we can pump things up or we can get ready to make sure coverage goes live at a certain time. Um, But for the most part, we don't actually get them or we're not actually we don't get them with the ability to share them, you know. But so Lala did post and she's like, I don't know when this is coming out. And then Bravo's like, well, it's coming out on May 17th. So we have only two episodes left. Seems like we, I, but apparently there's a scene in next week, or I don't believe it's the finale, but I believe it was, was what was supposed to be the original finale where Raquel, where I guess Ariana suspects that Tom Sandoval might be cheating on her. And that's when Raquel comes in and Raquel is like, if he is cheating on you, I'll always be there for you. That's just a rumor. I haven't actually seen this episode, next week's episode or the finale yet. But I've heard that that is in, I believe, next week's episode. And Raquel's like, if he is cheating on you, I'll, I'll be here for you. And I'm just like, you mother. Mm-mm. Somebody call Sheena. Somebody call Sheena. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Sounds like Sheena knew about it. So why was she so chummy with Raquel and Watch Happens Live? No, I don't think Sheena did know about it. How would Sheena know about it? Sheena didn't know about it until later that night. Why would an employee leak it, though? Um, I don't know if it was an employee, but here's the thing. It may not have been an employee. It may have been like somebody like me, right, that would have gotten advanced access to a screener for whatever reason, because sometimes we get screeners. The cast gets a lot of screeners. I find it unlikely that that the cast did it unless there was like a deliberate intention to do it. And I don't believe that anybody in the cast, aside from either Rocky Rocky Bang Bang or Tom Sandoval, I don't think anybody but the two of them would actually intentionally try to leak this. Um, But it's just like, I I don't think it's an employee, but so many people do get access to these. Like remember the, the actual cast gets access because they have to watch all of these episodes well in advance in order to tape the reunion. So if they have access to it, their teams have access to it, their assistants have access to it. So it's possible that it could get passed around. Um, I know I've gotten past copies of screeners and finales in the past that weren't sent to me directly, but they were, you know, given to me through, you know, a friend or whatever. So it is possible that that happened, but it's unclear. I do know that Radar Online reported that now Bravo's in law, Bravo's launched an internal investigation to find out who the leak could have been linked to, but because it was a, um, the version, of, I guess it wouldn't be the cast, right? Because if this were an episode that the cast would have gotten, the cast wouldn't have had the full finale episode before filming the reunion because they filmed the finale and the reunion in less than two weeks. So they wouldn't have had a full edited episode of that. So I'm thinking this is maybe a press leak as somebody that is in the press that got access to these episodes ahead of time and decided to leak it on their own because 
I don't think it's related to the cast because at first I was like, well, maybe Raquel was leaking it or maybe she's going to try to say she was hacked. Like she was hacked on her Instagram, she claims. But usually the edits that the cast gets and the edits that any of their team members have access to before the reunion do not contain the coming next week previews. The coming next week previews are only included in the final edited episodes. So I'm assuming that whoever got access to this clip is somebody that got access to it like recently within the past few days. And they immediately got it, saw it, and were like, I'm going to jump ahead on this. Sadly, my money's on Rachel because she's a giraffe and Lala admits that she she's never been in a fight. She could destroy her with her wo- her words. Sandoval had fooled many with his Boy Scout with his Boy Scout charm looks, but now he just looks like a drug addict. I mean, you're not wrong. Messy boots all around. Bravo needs to tighten up. The hard part, though, Erica, is that it's like, yes, Bravo needs to tighten up. Sure. But at the same time, it's like, how can they really tighten up on everything? Like the issue is people just are shitty, right? Zach, so are you on keto? You look young and skinny. Thank you, Deborah. I appreciate that. Um, thank you for saying I look young and skinny. I was at the Philly show. Um, and somebody was like, Oh, Zach, we want to play a game with you. And I was like, Oh, okay, I like games. And they're like, We're trying to guess how old you are. And I'm like, Oh, I don't like that game. <laughs> it's like that doesn't sound like a very fun game. And they were like, Okay, so we all took bets. And she says that you're 32, and she says that you're 34 but I'm thinking you're 36. And I was like, oh, okay. Well, that makes me feel real good because I am 29, guys. I was even like, how do you not know I'm going to turn 30 in June when I announced my big 30th birthday show in LA with Lala Ken for my dirty 30? <sighs> what happened to the puppy? Sorry, I was trying to ban the rolls details. The puppy's right here. He's asleep. He's taking a little nappy before we eat dinner. Bravo has the one with Kristen Doty. Yes. So the Bravo version has Kristen Doty, and that's what they're leaning in, leaning in with. But the version that was leaked has the Raquel moment where she talks about how this was all worth it. And then the James moment asking Raquel if they're together. And then obviously the Sandoval and, and Ariana. But all that was wild. Like when they're going back at it and she's like, I don't give a I don't give an F about Raquel. And then he's like, But our friendship is real. And she's just like, I don't give an F about your friendship your friendship is BS. And then he's like, no, it isn't. Like the fact that he like screamed back at her and is like, no, like defending her. I was like, wow. Wow. I knew you were in your twenties. You don't look like your thirties at all. Well, thank you. Three people saw me in person. And were like, you look like you're pushing 40. So I was at the show. You do not look like you're in your thirties. Thank you, Susan. I appreciate that. At least you've seen me in person and you know, okay, I don't look like I'm you do not look like you're in your 30s. Well, I'm not in my 30s, so thank you. I'm 29. I'll be 30 in June. Um, it's your articulate maturity that throws them off with your age. I mean, possibly, but, like, don't say I look old. Shit. Don't say I look uh, Pushing, like, a 36, like, pushing 40 is rough, guys. <laughs> that, like, almost gives me a full, like, 10-year gap. Zach, can you tell us how you keep your youth? Any diet tips? Uh, lots of Lots of alcohol. Lots of wine lack of sleep, decide to get a dog, a puppy, not a dog, get a puppy, like a young puppy. And then on top of that, get a kitten right after you do a long trip to the East Coast where you do a live show in Philly. And then you do a night in Manhattan, catching up with old friends. And then you go to a wedding in Jersey all in the same weekend. So just make sure you really wear yourself out and then come home to two new baby pets. So that way you can't sleep. So, and that's, that is the key. And then guzzle down wine because that is the key to youth and success. Okay. Cheers. Gemini's never age. I know that's right. You are not insecure. You're fine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is Steel is good looking in person? Oh my, yeah. Steel is so good looking in person. Shooter's good looking in person. How would anyone know? How would anyone not know you'll be 30 on June 15th? Thank you, maintenance chick. How would anybody not know that? Zach, I followed you at AfterBuzz. Oh, De- De- Devorah Rose. I followed you at AfterBuzz, so I know you have been around, yet you don't age at all. I appreciate that. I AfterBuzz was like back, that ended, I think I left AfterBuzz in like 2017, 2018 maybe, early 2018. Congratulations on becoming a full fur baby daddy. Um, 
Jesus, thank you. I rather shooter than mustache gets me the tingle. Oh my God, you guys are hilarious. Kitties are the best. I love them. Oh my God, that kitten. I know he's she's a cutie. Oh my God, she's asleep. Oh, thank God. She's been quiet all day. <sighs> Sweet Caroline. Guys, if you're watching this on YouTube, hit that like button and let me know that you're enjoying this content. And I promise I will get back on track and not be so crazy and rambly and make sure the tea is a lot more streamlined. It's hard because when I do rambly tea, then you guys are like, it's too rambly. Get to the point. And then when I get to the point and I'm talking fast, then you guys are like, you talk too fast. You're moving through so slow. Take a breath. I'm just like, you know what? Take a Xanax. So what do you guys think of Dodie's return? Bravo really pumped it up. But like, do we think like, again, I think Dodie is only going to be in the finale for like a solid two minutes, which disappoints me and makes me feel like ugh, lame, you know? Beautiful waterfall. I was around for After Buzz Days too. You and I made fun of Rachel. Together. Thank you, beautiful waterfall. Okay, because if anybody used to watch Vanderpump Rules, the recap show on After Buzz, I don't think they're there anymore. That was a long time ago. But when we would watch the recaps and we would do the recaps, I always dragged Raquel and everyone's like, oh my God, but she's so sweet. And oh my God, she's so innocent. I'm like, nope, I don't like her. There's something about her. I don't like her. And thank you for reminding me. We did not like her back then. And there was a reason. Mm hmm. $10 for a fur baby snack. Enjoy them. Oh, thank you, Felicia. Well, actually, I'm not thanking you. They're going to thank you for the fur baby snack because they're going to enjoy that. I am here for her coming back. They should have never fired her at all. I agree. They should have never fired. Let's do a rewatch of afterwards. Yeah, we're not going to do that. <laughs> I don't want to relive those days. I don't want to go back to those days. I don't want to think about those days. I'm glad that for anybody that stuck around. But yeah. Um, I don't, yeah, I don't think Dodie should have been fired. Um, I don't think Stassi and Jack should have been fired. I think, you know, like now that like Bravo's even leaning into Jax and leaning into Dodie after they fired them, I'm just like, then it really didn't mean that you stood for anything when you fired them because you knew you never really should have fired them other than social media being up in arms. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Kristen, Doty, and don't bring Brit or Jax. I actually like Brit and Jax. I think they're funny. Like, they got that little country bumpkin southern twang thing going on when they do their little recaps. I haven't actually watched a full recap on Peacock, but I've seen the clips on social media. And I'm like, you know what? I actually think it would be fun to watch them watch these shows. I think Brittany is just a cute little country bumpkin, and she's fun, and Jax is shady, and Jax is messy, and... They're actually a delightful duo together. Very much so. You rock, Zachary. Thank you, Josie. I love when people call me Zachary. Not many people do. I only save that for the boys that I like, the boys that I have crushes on. That's how they know. That's the way to my heart is to call me Zachary. Zach, remember you, Leon, and Grant Rudd are doing recaps together. So freaking good. That's so funny, Karen. I'm going to have to tell you a story about that. We only did that for like three weeks, though, maybe four weeks. It was me, Hollywood Leon. Grant Rudder from Grant's Rants and DJ, DJ Jesse Janity. And I remember Leon coming to all of us and being like, guys, we're the best on Bravo. We're the best. They're the best boys doing recaps of Bravo. Let's do a show together and call and call it. It's Bravo, bitch. And then um, I was like already on my way out at that point that I was a little reluctant to signing on. Grant didn't really want to sign on. And DJ Jesse Janity was just a hot ass mess. And I kept getting so frustrated with him behind the scenes, but ultimately, yeah, we ended up one by one dropping off the show until, yeah. Zach, if you had to choose one, who is more your type in the Vanderpump Rules cast now and then? Um, oh, that's a good question. Um, who would be my type on Vanderpump Rules? Who do we have? We have James, we have Jax, we have Sandoval. Oh my God, these are all terrible options. We have... Um, and of all, we have, um, I'm trying to think of anybody that's not, I mean, a Schwartzy, I would say, who would be my type? Peter, um, I don't know if any of them are a good type. Bo, Bo would be my type because he was technically a cast member in that final season. Oh, Brock. Okay, Brock's a really good option, but Brock would just feel too weird for me to choose because I like know Brock and I know Sheena really well that I just feel like 
it would be weird picking Brock. So I'm going to go with Bo. I actually think I I want a Bo, right? Like I want somebody that's got like a little bit of a dad bod, that's got like some faded tattoos, that likes to wear van sneakers, and is kind of just like a cool, down-to-earth, chill, regular guy. That's the type of vibe that I'm here for. So I'm definitely here for that. Brett was hot AF. Brett? Who, who's Brett? There is none Zach worthy. Bo is the only one. Yeah, I feel like Bo would be a perfect match for me. I need a Bo, right? I need a Bo that's just like someone that can balance me. I'm a Stas. I'm very much a Stasi. Or I think, well, actually, who do you think I would be on the Vanderpump cast? I think I'm kind of Stasi. Um, so I would need like a Bo. So, yeah, that's my choice. Brett got five. Oh, Brett Val. Oh my God. I completely, I like blacked out. What was that? Season eight. I completely forgot about season eight. Brett and Max. I would say Matt. I would love, love, love Max. Max is a cutie patootie. Oh, he is so fine. Um, I would still pick Bo though. Over the abs and over like the hot boyish charm and all that stuff. Like, I just think Bo is like hubby material and Bo's the vibe, right? Bo is the vibe. Bo is smart and funny. You is smart. You is funny. You is kind. Yes, all the things. Brett was the dude with 50, uh, was the dude from season eight. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Zach, are the fur babies prelude to Zach's arrival, to baby Zach's arrival? L yes, absolutely. I cannot wait to have a baby. I am so ready for a baby, um, especially after managing these two. It's like, oh, oh, I feel like Max has your exact energy, to, though the two of the, you would be like on 10 all the time. I don't, I feel like I'm very low energy, though, like on the show, on the podcast and stuff, like, sure, I'm a little more vibey, but like, I feel like behind the scenes, I'm like a super chill and just like, ah, oh, good vibes. But I do need like a bow that can balance me out for sure. Full show. I need that little dad bod and those faded faded tattoos, you know, like that, like ugly green on that light pale skin tone. Oh, gives me all the good feels. It gives me the good, like, I trust you with my babies. Like if I were to have a baby, I trust that you're not going to harm my, you're not going to like let my baby die. You're going to keep my baby alive and you're going to keep me alive in the process. Um, I hate to be a pick me, but do you think Raquel Rachel was vicious as the edit she got on Vanderpump Rules? Oh, vicocious. Um, I'm not a fan of her, but I know what happens in the edits. Listen, I believe that Raquel is who she says she is. I think, yes, I don't believe the edits, but believe the footage, right? Because you can see it in the footage. You can see her trying to craft the narrative where she's in her confessionals and she's crying and she's talking about how everybody's being a mean girl to her. That's very much her trying to craft the narrative that everybody's being mean to her rather that, which is, I think, a clear deflection than focusing on the fact that she's banging Sandoval. Zach, can we talk Jersey? We'll talk Jersey on Wednesday. I'll do my recap at the Bra Bros on Wednesday morning. I'll text you right now and make sure we're still on. But we will talk Jersey for sure. And we'll definitely, the Jersey fashion was fire. I was definitely here for the Jersey fashion. All of them, I think my least favorite of all of the Jersey fashion show pictures was um, Melissa's. I just, I was kind of disappointed in it. Margaret looked good. Teresa looked great. Um, Fuda looked cute. Danielle looked great. Jennifer's was a little underwhelming and Melissa's I just didn't like. I was not a fan of it. I just, I didn't like the cape. I didn't like the way it fit. It was just like, eh. Oh my God, I want to ask a personal question, but I don't know, are we doing IG Lives this week? Um, I believe I'm finally, yeah, we haven't done an IG Live in a minute. So I think we should definitely do an IG Live, maybe even tonight. Where's the leaked clip? You have to find it. You have to like actually dig for the leaked clip because some Bravo kids, I think Bravo and Cocktails posted it. Um, I don't know if Queens of Bravo was able to get it, but a few accounts like screenshotted it and then tried to post it. Maybe I'll post, well, I don't know. I don't like posting things and getting flagged for copyright infringement because if you get enough of those and like your account gets taken down, it's like a whole thing. So, I mean, if you're able to find it, 
I know Bravo and Cocktails did have a recording of it up and a few other accounts did as well. I think CC Loves You also had one up as well. So, but like I said, Bravo has been having them removed for copyright infringement. Samantha said Bravo posted it. No, Bravo posted an alternate version, an alternate edit. That's not the same edit that was leaked. The leaked version has the scene with Raquel talking about how, you know, she doesn't regret any of this because they said that it, I don't know, something about like it was worth it to blow it all up. And then we have the phone call between James and Raquel that's not shown in that either. So there are, you know, some some good tidbits in the leaked version. So if you're able to find it on one of the accounts, I say go for it. Loki, I'm ready for Teresa to get her own show. I mean, it's, I think it's very possible. So whoever posts it is going to get in trouble for copyright violations. Um, I think depending on the actual platform, like Instagram versus like YouTube, um, depending on the platform, it is, um, they have like a certain number of like strikes. I believe like if you get like one strike or two strikes, like you, your account gets like, I don't know if it's shadow banned or like what, but they, there are ramifications for breaking the policies, right? What is the name for the kitten? The kitten doesn't have a name yet. She needs a home first. Once she has a no a home, then she can have a name. I don't like capes on dresses unless it's a person over a certain age. I agree and dub. Um, okay, guys, I think that's all we got for tonight. We've already rambled on much about Vanderpump Rules, but Gia is ready to take over for her mom. I agree. I, I hope the restaurant fails. Damn, Leslie. Okay. Which restaurant? Something about her or Schwartz and Sandy's? Okay. I think it's time to wrap for the night. Maybe I will charge my phone and do like a surprise Instagram live. Um, so you'll probably want to definitely tune in. Go to Just Plain Zach on the Instagram. That's at Just Plain Zach. Maybe I'll charge my phone and do an impromptu surprise live once the, the wine has kicked in. That actually sounds kind of fun. And we can drink your wine, Zach. I love it, Karen. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. Thank you guys for tuning in today. I love you. I appreciate you. I hope you have a wonderful evening. Um, this will air on the podcast tomorrow and we have lots more tea to be spilled. I'll do a Jersey recap. Like, well, there's a lot more good content that'll come throughout the rest of the week. I was a little slow on content today. That's why I decided to do a live recap of the two trailers. Um, listen, with the kitten and the puppy, there's so many things that are going on, but I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. Have a wonderful evening. Drink some wine, get lit, go keto, drink some bone broth, live your best life, and I will chat with you. Actually, I think I will go on Instagram Live because I need to pop off on a bitch tonight, okay? So you know what? Go follow me at Just Plain Zach and give me like an hour to feed the puppy and take him potty and and oh, and feed a kitty, the baby kitty. All right. I love you guys. I appreciate you. And I will chat with you on my Instagram at Just Plain Zach, or you can always follow the podcast at No Filter with Zach. I love you guys. Smash the like button on your way out. Subscribe, hit the bell notification button, and I will see you in a bit. Okay. Good night. Bye bye bye. Bye bye.